Thank you so much. I'm Christina and I'm representing Data Projects tonight. So we are a female-led 3D motion design studio based here in London. And we are working in the intersection of 3D motion, VFX and graphic design. And yeah, we've been um, operating for the past six months now, officially. So quite a freshly launched studio. <laughs> Thanks. Our um, clients, as you can see here, operate um, like within the fashion, arts, lifestyle, tech, and music industry. And yeah, now the female-led aspect is quite a big part of our identity as it's still quite a male-dominated profession. And throughout the years, uh, when I was freelancing, I found myself in a lot of um, male teams and um, yeah, I was kind of wondering where all the CGI women were hiding. So with the studio setup, we want to challenge diversity and increase uh, potentially visibility of women in digital design. And so we see data projects as kind of a playground to get more women inspired to um, do 3D and work with us in a collaborative and yeah, cozy environment. And yeah, so even though obviously in our profession, technical skills are super important, we also feel that, yeah, like social skills and empathy and also um, a creative approach to problem solving are as important to create this inclusive environment where everyone feels safe and um, yeah, likes to work in. So one of our favorite recent projects um, I wanna talk to you about is the rebranding and 3D teaser of One to One Festival. It's this electronic music festival happening in New Zealand and it brands itself as a 3D dance odyssey. Free day, sorry, free day dance, obviously. And yeah, as we are passionate ravers ourselves, we had a lot of fun developing a concept of how to make this music festival's appearance quite uh, striking and compelling for potential festival enthusiasts like ourselves. Yeah, obviously a lot of people will hate me for showing this, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> we had other projects that wanted to develop a design style that would reflect the festival site. Um, it's happening in these fields of South by Rapa, and um, it contains everything from these um, ancient Kaikatea trees to a lot of port to forest clearings and um, also a lot of concrete bunkers. So really a mix of brutalism and nature. So um, in terms of concept, we then wanted to focus on these detailed crops of indigenous nature and really highlight their um, colors and textures and then interrupt those scenes uh, with the brutalist um, sculptures that we were kind of covering in this um, mirror material and like reflective material and then would uh, mirror the whole natural surrounding so um kind of yeah showing all the all the natural fibers and in in that way merging these two worlds to this harmony of brutalism and nature i hope this makes sense uh, so yeah, regarding the process uh, behind the 3D teaser, we started with a thorough research into the flora and fauna of New Zealand, and then recreated a handful of site-specific and extraordinary plants um, and flowers, and remodeled those in 3D. So here you see the Rabba Rabba, New Zealand's honeysuckle plant. We also recreated the Gloriosa lily, and the, uh, it's quite an iconic tree actually. Um, it's a New Zealand Christmas tree. It's called the Pohu Chukava in Maori. 
And yeah, we then started to rigging and animating the plants. And as we were aiming to create this quite tranquil mood, um, everything you see here in motion is quite kept uh, slow motion and um, just slightly moving in the wind. Then we also sculpted a library of uh, brutalist elements, which we could then use as a base for our um, to build our scenes and merge them with the natural objects. So those geometric assets you see are all built in ZBrush and 3D code. And you see an overview of them. We gave them these rugged edges and added surface imperfections to really create this extra realistic look we were going for. And yeah, these are first tests of how these two worlds could complement each other and um, how we can mirror the natural surroundings in the brutalist um, sculptures. And these are also earlier tests. I should mention that those are all done in Cinema 4D because we really wanted to focus on these um, crops and um, show these detailed textures. And the art direction we chose in terms of lighting and colors, you can um, see it here, it's quite sunny and warm and peaceful. But then also we wanted to inject some energy. So the idea was to show a daytime and a nighttime cycle as if you would experience it at a festival. Um, so going from the sunny scenes you just saw before to more like a nighttime rave and electronic um, elements. So we experimented here with um, these uh, laser lights and pulses and shimmers. And yes, yeah, we had quite a tight deadline and had to put together uh, a whole minute of CGI footage, which is actually quite a lot. Um, we, we decided to build some of the wider shots um, in Unreal Engine so we could then um, render a big chunk in real time. And then also the amazing thing about Unreal Engine is that you can um, kind of paint with a plant so you can cover a big range um, of the natural surroundings and it worked like magic for our wider shots. So here you see a few of them uh, in progress. And Here's our final teaser. Thank you. And yeah, in terms of branding, so the graphic design um, part of the project, uh, for the graphic design elements we developed, um, well, those were all based on obviously these uh, brutalist angular geometric shapes, uh, plus architectural maps of those buildings. So um, yeah, additionally, we then added also like rounder shapes that would represent moving bodies from above on a map to really add this kind of layer of um, dynamism to the more rigid blocky shapes. So here you see a few of our first um, earlier tests. These are also um, a collection of all the whip posters. So you can see we tested a lot of different fonts and colors and layouts. And here's some more, I'm just skimming through them uh, because it's 
a lot but yeah you can also see here that we tested out different um, logos so here for example a more constructed version that was really leaning on the brutalist um, element but we felt it didn't represent really the festival um, fully so we wanted to create a more free-flowing and experimental logo and yeah in the end we then landed on this graphic language with a mix of bold and finer elegant fonts that represented the kind of more organic side we used some playful o's and some fun icons and yeah, these were our templates for the lineup announcement and the artist tiles. And yeah, we the identity was also applied on the website and um, on merge, and we even got to design some wristbands. So that was really, um, yeah, a super um, fun package we were invited to um, work on just really great and yeah lastly I want to talk to you about awesome women working in the 3d space we are um, inspired by so many fellow women succeeding in the 3d space on a daily basis and um, yeah it's clear that there's still a lack of female-led practices in uh, 3d motion and digital and we need more representation at a director's level to really show young women that this is a career they can participate in and enjoy. So yeah, we've got this long list of collaborators and um, women in 3D who inspire us and we wanted to share them with you and um, celebrate them. <laughs> outline of women, um, amazing women in 3D. And we are excited to see this list growing every day. So yeah, thank you so much. It's nice for having me. Thank you.